We're on the verdict watch now in the Top Chef trial. Prosecutors and defense attorneys gave their closing arguments today, and now the case is in the jury's hands. Prosecutors say four Teamsters threatened the crew of the reality show. But lawyers for the Teamsters say they were simply exercising their rights as union members to picket. Christina Hager has the story tonight. At least she knows I'm not a scab like you. What'd you say? You Was it me. just a union picket line that got a little ugly? Or is this cell phone snippet of local Teamsters a window into an attempt to extort jobs from the company that came to Boston in 2014 to film the cooking competition reality show Top Chef? After a couple weeks of testimony capped off by the show's star Padma Lakshmi, attorneys made their closing arguments. Prosecutor Christina Barkley accusing the four Teamsters on trial of threatening to kill people, telling the host of the show they're going to bash her pretty little face in. And when the men allegedly blocked the entrance to the Steel and Rye restaurant in Milton, where crews were filming, the prosecutor called it an alleged attempt to force Top Chef to hire Teamsters for unnecessary jobs. Defense attorneys called it just a demonstration. And even if some of the language was offensive, there's no evidence before you of any violent actions in that video, said attorney Carmine Lapore, who followed fellow defense attorney Kevin Barron, saying they're not on trial for assault, they're not on trial for vandalism. Adding later, is this extortion going on or a protest? You have to ask yourself. The jury deliberated for about two and a half hours before heading home. They'll be back here tomorrow. At the federal courthouse in Boston, Christina Hager, WBZ News.